Hello, my name is David Nachman, and I'm one of the managing attorneys at the NPZ Law Group. We have offices located in New Jersey, in New York. We also have offices that are uh, satellite offices in Canada, and we also have uh, affiliated offices in India. And uh, this is the next in a series of uh, short series of tapings that I've done. I call it the Cure for the Coronavirus Boredom While in Quarantine. And we're coming to the end of our second uh, week in quarantine here in New Jersey. And uh, I know you're probably all thinking, who's the guy with the funky tie? Because you probably are used to seeing me wearing more conservative ties. But this happens to be a tie that is uh, given to me compliments of the mayor of New Orleans, Mark Morial. And uh, he also signed it here at the bottom. So um, kind of nice that I get to sit at home and wear funky ties. I, of course, don't think I would ever wear this into the office, but onward. Uh, so uh, one of the questions which uh, we've been getting frequently from clients and prospective clients has to do with naturalization applications. And what we've noticed is that there's a tremendous upsurge in uh, situations where individuals have applied for naturalization and then it's been brought to their attention, and usually this happens in the naturalization interview, where um, there, something is brought to their attention that may have gone wrong in the green card process. And so uh, the clients usually come to us for an initial consultation and they say, how did they find out this information or where did this discrepancy come from? And I never knew about this when I was, uh, you know, when I was applying for my green card. So uh, this is something which uh, we've been noticing uh, probably, uh, this has been coming to the uh, forefront probably within the last uh, two to three years. Um, and what it is, is that it has to do with the fact that naturalization officers have been told to go back all the way uh, to the green card uh, process and to uh, confirm that everything was done accurately. So what that requires us to do as your immigration lawyers is uh, when we're doing your naturalization applications, uh, we will go back with you and sort of do a search um, with, you know, it's sort of a mind melt with you and with us to see whether there may have been some information that may have been improperly provided during the original um, green card application. Uh, for example, maybe a uh, uh, maybe a green card application was filed in the wrong employment-based classification. Maybe the green card was filed in the wrong family-based classification. Maybe the green card uh, was done uh, in a way where, let's say, an individual had a labor certification application but never actually went to work for that particular employer, which does happen in certain circumstances. And they're actually allowed to do that type of thing uh, if, let's say, for example, they're using AC21 Section 106C mobility and moving from one employer to another. Now, that there may not be something in the file to that effect, but that's going to be something which we can work with you to understand how you're supposed to, uh, in, how you're supposed to uh, respond to uh, employees, uh, sorry, respond to uh, the officer if the officer asks you a question in the naturalization um, interview. So um, suffice it to say that the naturalization application process has become extremely complex. It used to be uh, relatively easy. You would fill out the uh, application for naturalization, but now we really have to go back and do a historical recount and just make sure that all the, uh, all the stones have been, uh, you know, that, that no stone is unturned, just to make sure everything is ticked and tied out and just to make sure that there wasn't anything that was improperly done on a prior application. So if you should have any questions with regard to your naturalization application or um, how the government might see your naturalization application on a going forward basis, if you have some question about whether or not uh, you know, the issue of good moral character affects you because you may have had some incident within the last five years or whether or not you're applying at the correct time or whether you may have done something to uh, affect your uh, lawful permanent residence uh, over the past five years or, um, you know, during the time prior to the filing of the naturalization application, please give us a call. We're more than happy to assist you. Please feel free to visit our website at uh, www.visaserve.com for additional information. You can also email us at info at visaserve.com or you can also feel free anytime to uh, contact us by phone at 201 670 
1-800-222-0006. Thanks very much for joining me. Trusting you all stay safe and sound and virus-free.